I've been working with her at Pleasant View Communities for almost 18 years. And she comes to work and we're like, Janet, you are glowing. What is going on? She was like, nothing. I'm like, uh, no. I know you, you know, not just today. Something is going on. And she was like, yeah, I have this friend. And I'm like, he's not just a friend. There is something about you. She was like, but he hasn't asked me. I'm tells me she's going to look for a house. You are not looking for a house. She was like, but I have to go to the auction. I said, no, but you already have a guy. She was like, Linda, you don't understand. The guy is just a friend. I said, I don't want to hear that anymore. And Claire was that uncle that any boy could wish for. He was single, rich, had a lot of toys, you know. We spent a lot of time with him. Then most of us got married. We were busy with our families. And I felt kind of sorry for Claire. But God had a plan. Claire moved into a house all alone. He spent one year, three months, and seven days there. And now he's a married man. Over the years, I got thinking, you know, I ought to talk her into buying a house. Finally found one she was really interested in, and I said, yeah, I think this is going to be nice for you. And we went to the open house, and it, it really, we were excited. About two, three weeks before the auction, she says, I don't know if I want that house. And I'm like getting frustrated. Why don't you want it? It's nice. It's, you know, and I said, is it the payments you're worried about? No, 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 I just don't know if I want it. Then she finally said, well, I'll tell you a secret. There's this guy I think that might soon ask me out. I'm really looking forward to what God has in store for you guys. Thanks a lot.